Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, House of Dragon here, coming at you with an interesting little 7 days to die glitch. Uh, now I decided why the hell not, I might as well load up the new 17.3 alpha, you know, give it a try for a bit, see what's what. And then this happened, and that building is collapsing, and I'm about to get a whole bunch of error messages. And yeah, this is the kind of world that I apparently generated, I don't know how I generated it, I don't know if that's just a glitch with 17.3, that this is what happens with the random gens if I try and make a new one. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and wander off in another direction here. That building's probably going to start collapsing as I get close to it. Since it doesn't have any kind of base around it at the moment, it kind of loads the building itself. The whole thing just starts collapsing. Unfortunately, you can't even swim in this water either. You can kind of jump into it, but that's about it. Yep, yeah, there is the collapse right there. There's the collapse. I should get an entire wall of error messages here in a second. So, yeah, not really sure what the heck caused this. Of course, some of the actual, like, pathing I'm on right now is still gravel. But anything beyond it is, I believe, uh, considered to be the lovely bedrock that you can't actually cut through. See if I can get this giant structure there to collapse. That'd be interesting. Uh, then again, you do find places like I believe... Is this one of them? Uh, it might be. Yeah, I think this is one of them where it has its own little island to it. So it won't actually just collapse. Since there's enough dirt surrounding it that it still technically counts itself as a uh, viable structure here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> It's really funny seeing that. I wish I could actually build my way up to that. But unfortunately, I don't even have any no clip or anything like that I can enable that I'm aware of. Maybe there is a no clip, but I'm not going to bother flying up there. This would almost be a very interesting map to play on, but I imagine it would be very, very broken. Let's get see if I can. Get, I'm probably going to drown trying to get close to this thing, but I want to see that collapse. Like right now I'm trying to swim up, but it won't actually let me. Which is most unfortunate, as I would like to get up there. Probably not going to be able to make that building start to collapse, unless I get really close to it over here, perhaps. It's definitely one of the most interesting bugs I've seen. Yep, there we go. There we go. It's starting. This is probably going to crash this. I might even kill my computer. That zombie's just getting pummeled down there. Actually, I might be able to swim up. Yeah, having a massive building like that just collapses. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at 20 frames a second right now. I can't tell if I'm actually... I think I'm barely swimming up. I am about to run out of air, though, so that's unfortunate. But hey, it's fine. Keep swimming up. Keep swimming up. You can make it. I believe... It's definitely one of the weirdest glitches I've ever seen in this game. You are drowning. I might make it though. I might still make it. I made it. I made it to the top, baby. Oh, the lag. The lag is real. Holy crap, the lag. Especially as I get closer to any additional buildings. This would be a real nice time to have a boat, actually. Oh god, just watching this whole structure just collapse. Wee And silver dies. Pardon me as I break my legs and get crushed to death by the resulting rubble from up there. I think there was a zombie in there once. Probably not anymore. 
it is definitely interesting just seeing a building collapse like this like the entire structure just going down and how the game uh, reacts to that you can see it's creating floating rubble piles now because of the uh, different bits of the building hitting each other and then creating that but anyway that's enough for this uh, rather interesting little glitch here now the one thing I don't know though is that is this just you know something that's attached to the seed if I use the same seed again, would that create this? Uh, likewise, is this just a glitch for 13 point or 17.3, whatever it is, uh, that it happens every single time you generate a world? I'm not 100% sure. I'm definitely going to test that in a moment and see what happens, but it's definitely pretty funky. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed. Definitely have a great one, and I will catch you all next time.